Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome back to our channel. Starting today, we will begin learning about module 7 which covers monitoring tools. We will focus on the basics of monitoring and explore one of the popular tools in high demand. So far we have gone through 6 modules in this series. I strongly suggest watching them too as it will help you excel in the field of performance testing. In this video, we will talk about performance monitoring concepts. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is monitoring? In a general sense, it is the act of observing and collecting the data over time. Why do we need to monitor? This is to keep track of things and make necessary adjustment for improvement so that they can make an informed decisions about the thing that they are monitoring. Okay? You must be thinking, where do we generally monitor, isn't it? In general, monitoring will be done everywhere. Without knowing, we will monitor our personal lives for improvement. For example, parents will keep track of their children's education to ensure that they are doing well. Some other common examples are, in healthcare, to track patients' vital signs or disease progression, etc. And in finance, to track expenses, revenues and other financial aspects. In IT systems, to track the application or service. In security, to detect and respond the potential security threats or breaches and in environment to track the air quality, water quality or weather conditions. And there are many more. Okay. Now let's try to understand what is performance monitoring. Basically monitoring the performance of an entity. As we will be working with applications and system, we can say it as monitoring the performance of an application or systems. So how do we monitor? There are different tools available to monitor different aspects of the application or system's performance. We have performance testing tools like LoadRunner, JMeter, etc. to monitor the application performance. We have native inbuilt operating system tools like Perfmon for Windows and Top, IOSTAT, VMSTAT, SAR, etc. for Unix like systems to monitor their system resources. And we have application performance monitoring tools also called as APM tools like Dynatrace, AppDynamics, Neuralic, etc. to monitor the application as well as the system resource monitoring. Basically all these tools will monitor the application or system and collect and report different metrics for analysis purposes. So you must be thinking what is a metric? A metric is a unit of measurement used to quantify or evaluate a specific aspect or characteristic of something. From the performance testing standpoint, the monitoring will be done in two main areas, application and server. This is to identify any bottlenecks which impact the application or server performance. Okay. Application monitoring will be done to monitor the overall application health. The application health metrics will be reported by performance testing tools like LoadRunner, JMeter, etc. Some of the application health metrics or response time, average, minimum, maximum, percentile like 98th percentile or 95th percentile etc. And user concurrency or load, server throughput which will be measured in terms of TPS and then successful server hits, HTTP errors and many more. Server monitoring will be done to monitor the overall server resource health. We can monitor the server health using the available native inbuilt tools of or APM tools. Some example metrics are CPU utilization, memory utilization, disk utilization, network utilization, etc. Along with the server resource utilization metrics, we also monitor server configuration metrics using APM tools. For example, if the application is deployed in a three-tier architecture and is developed using Java technology, then we will monitor thread pool size, heap memory usage, JDBC connection pool size, etc. When conducting the performance testing for web applications, we can classify the metrics in two different ways client-side metrics and server-side metrics. Client-side metrics measure the performance at the client-side that is web browser. Our performance testing tools like LoadRunner or JMeter will not provide the client-side metrics. Okay, So it is important to capture the client-side metrics to understand if there are any issues at the client-side. Some of the example metrics are like page loading time, number of page components like images, CSS, JavaScripts, etc. Number of HTTP calls, number of exceptions, etc. These days, APM tools like Dynatrace are providing the client-side metrics so we can make use of those tools to monitor the client side performance as well. Along with that, we can also use tools like Fiddler, Browser Dev Tools, Google Lighthouse, etc. to monitor the client side performance. Server side monitoring measures the performance of the server side processing. Some of the example metrics are transaction response time, server throughput, server errors or exceptions, server resource utilization, and many more. We can use APM tools or performance testing tools to monitor the server side performance. During performance test planning sessions or discussions, we will come across a term called KPI. Let's quickly explain. Explore it. KPI stands for Key Performance Indicator. KPIs are high level indicators that reflect organization strategic goals and objectives. For example, like revenue growth, customer satisfaction index and many more. KPIs and metrics are often interrelated, but technically they are not the same thing. 
For example, a KPI for your performance testing might be the percentage of users who complete a transaction within a certain time limit, while a metric for the same scenario might be the average transaction response time. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till then and supporting me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, please feel free to leave a comment below. All the video notes have been uploaded in GitHub and you can find the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and also like and share this video with others so that they will also get benefited. I'll see you in the next video in this module. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.